This is the L3 Farm Rabbitry Tattoo Box. The box is used to restrain rabbits for tattooing them. It is safer for both the rabbit and for the person tattooing the rabbit than wraps, holding them in your lap, toweling, and all of those other methods that people tend to employ. I'm going to show you how to tattoo with the box, and I'm also going to show you the box itself. First off, all of the hardware on the box is heavy-duty stuff. There's a, a really good heavy-duty handle. Instead of little hinges, I use a, a piano hinge. And we have an actual clasp rather than a, a hook and eye. All of the joints of the box have been glued as well as fastened. And all of the, the holes and edges have been sanded smooth. Now inside the box, you will find an instruction sheet, short slider, long slider, a riser board, and then you're going to have some vertical slots and some horizontal slots, and that's what allows all of these sliders to move around. The great thing about this box is it can be adjusted for any size of a rabbit. Instead of buying a box depending on what size rabbit or what kind of rabbit you breed, you just have to buy this one box and you can adjust it for anything. So if you raise, say, uh, you know, Britannia Petites and you raise Flemish Giants. You can tattoo them all in this one box. You just have to move the sliders around. That is one of the most wonderful things about this box, besides everything else. <laughs> um, these here are the nose boards. This is the direction the rabbit will be facing, as long as you put it in properly. And then this hole here is for the ear, obviously. Now, you'll notice that it is off-center, and some people have asked, you know, why is the hole not in the center? Well, if the rabbit's facing this way, and you're going to take and put the ear through, that's going to be where the left ear goes. Tricky, huh? Okay, so, to use the box, this is essentially the moving floorboard. So, depending on the height of your rabbit, if you are tattooing very young kits, you'll put it at the highest position. Unless, of course, you've got gigantic kits. For my American chins, when I tattoo them at five weeks, this is where I put it. And I'll actually take a washcloth sometimes and put it along here so that uh, the kit will fit right over here because generally speaking, some of the kits are pretty narrow. Now for, say, a mini Rex, They might be here, depending on the age, but an adult one might be here. So it just depends on your rabbits. I mean, that's the great thing about this adjustable box. You can set it up exactly where you want it. Now, when you first put the rabbit in, leave your sliders out. That way you can set the rabbit inside. You can uh, you know, figure out where the back of the rabbit is. If they're too low, you just lift the rabbit, slide it out, adjust it, and set the rabbit back, back inside. And that's when you'll start setting up these. And I'll show that when I actually show you how to tattoo with this box. So that is the introduction to the box itself. And next I will show you how we actually tattoo with it. Um, Okay, so here is our sort of willing volunteer. You know. So, we'll take our bunny and set her in here. And I would say that the floor is a little, a little high. And the reason I know that is because 
looks like the lid might hit her back. Actually, she just slid down a little bit. If their back is higher than the sides, you want to go ahead and move it down or see if they'll lay a little bit lower. You do not want to be crushing the bunny. Um, I mean, the ears are long enough. Um, a little teeny bunny, you might want to see if you can spread them out a little bit. Or you can put a, a washcloth or something under their front feet to kind of get them to sit up a little bit on the front. Um, you know, obviously she's not a problem as far as the long ears go, so I could drop her down, but now that she kind of settled, she slid her back, and so now she's actually below. So what I'll do, I don't really need the back back one because I can put this guy in. You just want to put a board back here so that they don't get out through that back hole. And now I'm just going to guide the left ear through and latch it. And you want to latch it just so that when you're messing around here, they don't pop it open and book. So here, and yes, you can kind of pull a little bit. It doesn't hurt the bunny. You just kind of work the ear so that you can kind of get the surface where you want it. And then you're going to use your fingers back here to make that surface for writing on. And you'll notice, you know, she's perfectly calm. Does that happen when you hold them in your lap? Generally not. It's dark in there. She's just kind of chilling. It's pretty nice. Okay, so. Pull some ink up here. And let's see here. She's a meat rabbit, so I don't really have a, a tattoo prepared for her. So, I can get all kinds of creative, can I? Let's see here. Now when you're tattooing, you want to just kind of, I tend to just kind of go over the line a little bit. You know, just, you know, doing it like this. And I can make sure that I got it. Okay, that's starting to sting a little. satisfied, you take out your bunny. Yeah, that's not so bad, huh? She says, yeah, you try it. Yeah, but really she's not freaked out. Yeah, she breathed a little hard, huh? Not bad at all. Yeah. Yep. And we now have, come on, show your tattoo. 